Are those gummy bears wrapped in a fruit roll-up? Breakfast burrito, but yeah. Everything in life has a good side and a bad side. Sadly, candy is not an exception to that rule. You might think that something this sweet and delicious could do no wrong, but you would be fooling yourself. Here are the top 10 worst candies ever made, ranked. Part two, Laffy Taffy. Vermont. They're Laffy Taffy. If you want a candy that's ridiculously annoying to eat, Laffy Taffy is the perfect candy for you. They're not so bad in taste, granted, but the overall struggle you have to go through to be able to enjoy one is just simply not worth it. His liver looks healthy. Mm-hmm. That's a wad of Laffy Taffy. Sticky, gummy, and viscous isn't exactly the appealing description you're looking for when in search of a sweet treat. In addition to every single bite getting stuck to your teeth, Laffy Taffy doesn't have a very refined texture. Yes, they used to be big back in the day and were advertised as having a long-lasting flavor, but that's all in the past they have had their 15 minutes of fame. No one wants a trip to the dentist to get their fillings redone after one bite of these slimy, sticky sticks. You really need to floss more. If you're still set on eating Laffy Taffy but care about your dental well-being, here's a little tip for you. Use a hair dryer. It sounds weird, I know, but some people have said that heating up the candy softens it a bit, making it safer to eat. Raisin Nets, more like Raisin Nuts. Not. <gasps> Wait, when you're in there, will you get me some snow caps? Oh, no, 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 raisin nuts, raisin nuts. Who has ever gotten excited to find out that it's not chocolate chips in your oatmeal cookie, but raisins? Okay, some of you might have, there's no judgment here, but usually raisins are not exactly people's favorites. Do you like raisin nuts? <laughs> Take him or leave him. This is why chocolate lovers are generally appalled with this weird, kooky combination of chocolate and raisins. Made by the Ferrera Candy Company, Raisinets are not the only variation of the dried up treat. There's a whole other bunch of dried fruit covered in chocolate, like cranberries and cherries. Cover anything in chocolate and it becomes that much better, I guess. If you're one of those who actually enjoy raisins, worry not. You won't get laughed at if you eat some in public, but you'll most likely get labeled as the health nut instead of the cool kid who brings treats like cupcakes and brownies for everyone. It's sad that the healthiest candies are almost always the ones that don't taste as good because raisins are fruit, but maybe just not the kind you would bring to a fondue dinner party. Do you fondue? An old creation from the 1920s that maybe should have stayed there. Double Bubble Trouble. Hubba Bubba over Double Bubble, you're crazy. This famous chewing gum brand, mostly seen around Halloween and in baseball dugouts, is as old as time. It was created in 1928 by Walter Diemer, an accountant whose hobby was creating bubble gum recipes. Double Bubble has since become America's top selling wrapped gum and an overall icon. I'm kind of a big deal. But just because something is iconic doesn't always mean that it's for the right reasons. A pink, hard as rock, and ready to break your jaw treat isn't exactly the best way to reach the top of the charts, but hey, it seemed to have worked for this one. I broke my tooth. The flavor is there for maybe four to five chews, and then it disappears, and you're left with a stale piece of rubber to chew on. To put your teeth and jaw muscles through this torment is a grueling process that doesn't give you much of anything in return. Flavorless, insipid, and flat. That double Bubble probably shouldn't be your go-to if you're looking for something that'll satisfy your craving for bubble gum. But for those diehards, keep on chewing. Almond Joy. Would you like an Almond Joy? You either love coconut or you hate it, and that's why Almond Joy is on this list. A milk chocolate bar filled with almonds and coconut chunks doesn't exactly sound like the type of candy bar that would please a large crowd. Why not consider an Almond Joy? Finally, a real suggestion. If she doesn't like coconut, you're screwed! The overpowering coconut flavor and freaky pasty texture of the Almond Joy have been the cause of many awkward facial expressions since the first introduction of the treat in the 1940s. Whether it's the over-sweetness or the glue-like texture of the coconut center, Almond Joys seem to never fully satisfy the public and is still pretty much the butt of jokes in the candy world. Except for that one famous catchy jingle, no one really gives a 
second thought to this candy bar, and yet you would always find some at the bottom of your trick-or-treat bag as a kid. Trick-or-treat! Smell my feet. There was always that one household in your neighborhood who wanted to be healthier than anyone else and thought Almond Joys were it. Yes, the almonds make it healthier than a regular candy bar, but is it really worth compromising the taste? If you like Almond Joy, be true to yourself and embrace it. Just don't expect everybody else to jump on the bandwagon. Sixlets. For God's sake, I'm just a hot shell chocolate candy. Basically, knock off M&M's, six slits are allegedly disappointingly dry and underwhelming. It's hard to imagine dry chocolate, but yet these little round balls fit the bill. Many have claimed to dislike the low quality of the chocolate found inside and would rather buy the real thing rather than these wannabe M&M's. Oh. I'm the real deal. They're just not the kind of candy you get excited about receiving as a gift. Made by Oak Leaf Confections, a company based in Ontario, Canada, Sixlets come in various colors like red, yellow, green, blue, and orange. They also have many holiday variations, like white and pink ones on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day! Hard-shelled, packed with sugar, and lacking in actual flavor, it's easy to see why Sixlets aren't among the most popular candies out there. Although Sixlets bring back childhood memories for many, they just don't hold up to today's standards and sadly seem to have not withstood the test of time. And unlike M&Ms, which melt in your mouth and not in your hands, Sixlets will definitely still melt in your hands. No doubts about it. Peeps. I brought marshmallow peeps. Ah, oh, okay. Who doesn't enjoy a nice, slightly burned marshmallow over a campfire with your friends and family? Marshmallow. <laughs> well, if you take that same marshmallow and mix it with corn syrup, then shape them into little animals, you might get these unbelievably sweet treats the Peeps. These mushy, gooey, and somewhat scary-looking marshmallows aren't exactly the peak of candy creation. In fact, they might just be the opposite. Peeps are described to have a grainy and freakish texture, far from a campfire experience. Available in all sorts of shapes, like bunnies and chicks, these little sticky treats have now taken over all holidays, and they just keep on coming at us with new and disturbing flavors, each sounding worse than the last. Sour, lemonade, party cake, bubble gum. The best or worst part is you can even find peep flavored milk. Marshmallow milk? No! God, please, no! No! Oh, and another thing peeps are almost impossible to destroy. Honestly, some people have declared the candy indestructible and have carried out tests to see what could get one to break. Nothing could do it. From burning to dissolving using smoke or liquid nitrogen, nothing worked. That says a lot about what we're willing to put in our bodies for a taste of sweetness. Undestroyable madness. Smarties. It's the Smarties that freak people out. Canadian fans, settle down. We are not talking about your beloved chocolate candy-covered Smarties. These are actually quite tasty. Yeah, I'm from Saskatchewan. What's up in Canada, eh? But for Americans, yes, we are talking about the Smarties you're thinking of. You know, those chalky, dry-looking tablets you would pop in your mouth as a kid and pretend you were taking your medicine? These Smarties have been out in the world since the late 1940s and are still, for some reason, in circulation today. Most likely to be found at the bottom of your trick-or-treat bag as a kid, these candies aren't exactly the most interesting when it comes to flavor. Sure, they all come in different, aesthetically pleasing pastel colors like baby pink, yellow, and purple, but ultimately, they all taste exactly the same boring and blanched. Not only do they look like medicine, but they also taste like it. I hope you like the taste of ringworm medicine. Although one thing on the plus side is that Smarties were confirmed to be vegan. Black licorice. I have some good news and some bad news. Great. 
Black licorice. Almost no one likes black licorice. It's like a common acknowledgement. Really, the bitter and sour taste of the first bite is enough to send shivers down your spine and convince you to not take another one. This unique and rather disturbing taste comes from the extract of the roots of the licorice plant Glyceriza glabra. A mouthful, I know. Oh boy. That was a tongue twister. And is very similar to the taste of anise. While we know candy isn't good for your health and doesn't exactly contain a lot of nutrients, black licorice can be potentially harmful to the body if eaten in abundance. Turns out you really can overdose from eating candy. I ate too much plastic candy. In 2019, a man with no history of heart problems suddenly collapsed and died. The culprit? The two large bags of black licorice he ate every day for three weeks. The glycerizic acid from the plant extract can lead to a dangerously low potassium level and cardiac arrest, which is exactly what happened in this case. Now, obviously, consuming a large amount of anything is never a good idea, and everything should be taken in moderation. But the FDA has warned people to stay away from black licorice if you have any heart problems and to consume consume it with a lot of moderation. How incredible, a candy that not only tastes bad, but that can also lead to your death. Exactly what you're looking for when in need of a sweet treat. Pixie Sticks Thank you, but we're not allowed. Aw, oh, it's okay. There's no sugar in Pixie Sticks. Pixie Sticks are literally just sugar in a straw. That's it. Nothing more. I know. <laughs> Right? Packaged in wrappers that resemble drinking straws, there's really only one way to eat one. You need to pour the entire thing down your throat and hope you don't get a sugar crash right after. It was put on the market in the late 1950s and was derived from another powdered candy, Licamade, which was later modified and became what we know today as Fun Dip. In any case, the primary goal of this candy is most likely to offer the most sugar possible and to do it in the least original fashion. Knowing full well that my true love is efficiency. For a while, there was even a giant pixie sticks, which was over 15 inches long. A little too monstrous for modern days, it was eventually discontinued. But it's still a scary thought that all this sugar could be consumed by only one person. Pixie sticks is still a fairly popular candy and is apparently the state of Georgia's favorite Halloween candy. Gushing a load of powdered sugar from a colored plastic straw might be both one of the least original, yet easiest ways to consume candy. Candy cigarettes. They were thought to encourage impressionable children to smoke. How dumb do they think we are? Just by the name, you can tell why these made it to the number one spot on our list of worst candy. This candy is either made out of chalky sugar, bubble gum, or even chocolate. And while they are not laced with tobacco, they still come wrapped in paper and carton packages, mimicking a pack of real cigarettes. Long week to quit. Some products even contained hidden powdered sugar so that kids could blow smoke out of their cigarette. Now that doesn't sound sketchy. Following some heated controversies, candy cigarettes were banned in most countries, but are somehow still being sold in the U.S. of A. While the name did change to candy sticks in parts of the world where it's still legal, many brands kept the original disputed packaging. Introducing children to smoking, even if it's just pretend, at such a young, impressionable age doesn't exactly send the right message. This is like bad parenting 101! Candy is all fun and games, and it should stay that way. Go ahead and tap on one of our other great videos, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad.